everybody, it's Stephanie. Tonight we'll do a nice little relaxing gentle flow and we'll begin in an easy seat. So just find whatever comfortable seated position works for you. Take a few moments, close down the eyes here, root down through the sits bones, inhale, find a nice tall spine, allow the palms to rest in the lap, and just take a moment to release and to catch your breath. So releasing the day, releasing the week so far, just letting go of anything that's not serving you right now in this moment. And then just begin to find a nice little steady breath, nothing too strong or powerful. So just become aware of your inhales and aware of your exhales. Finding that intention for your practice, whatever that may be for you. So again, it's a gentle, relaxing flow. So nothing too vigorous tonight. We'll just kind of chill out. Take a few more breath cycles right here where you are. Maybe on that next inhale, bring those shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, roll them down away. So just become aware of those shoulders now. Maybe a little shrug here as well. We'll take another big inhale. On the exhale, nice and slow, begin to bring the chin to the chest. So make sure that that spine is still nice and tall. So you'll begin to feel a nice big stretch through the back of the neck. So become aware of any attention here you may be holding in the neck and shoulders. Take another big inhale, and on your exhale, slowly begin to roll the head over to the right side. So chin is still down. So you begin to feel a nice stretch through the, the neck on that left side. So maybe that right hand gently comes behind the head just to add a little deeper stretch. You don't have to, just whatever feels good. Just make sure to keep that left shoulder rolling down. We'll breathe in here. On the exhale, if you have the hand behind the head, slowly begin to lower it down and we'll bring the chin back to center, chin to chest. So again, find that nice tall spine. And as you're ready, begin to take the head over to the left side now. So you can stay again right there. Or maybe that left palm comes to the back of the head. Just to add a little deeper stretch, become aware of that right shoulder. Roll it down away. Big stretch here through the outside of the neck. And one more breath. On the exhale, release the hand if it's behind the head and slowly bring the chin back to chest. And now we'll slowly rock the head from side to side. So take some little half circles here. And if it feels good for you, slowly begin to take those all the way to full circles. Get all those little crunchies out of the neck. So we'll take about three or four to each side. One more this way. Come back to center and we'll switch it out. Take some rolls the opposite way. So again, aware of those shoulders, roll them down away. Releasing the tension. And one more this way. Come back, chin to chest, pause here, one more breath. 
and on the inhale, we'll slowly begin to lift the head up now. We'll bring those thumbs into heart center, take a nice big breath in and a nice big breath out. On that next inhale, we'll slide that right arm hand over to the right. Inhale, left arm reaches overhead for a side body stretch. So chest is opening here, gazes under the arm. On the exhale, we'll begin to bend through the elbow, take it down and tap that right knee. So round through the back. Inhale, reach it back up, open through the chest. On the exhale, elbow to knee, round through the back. Inhale, open through the chest, take the gaze up. And exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, open back up, find that side body stretch. Rooting through both sit bones here. Three big breaths here. On the exhale, this time we'll sweep that left hand around. We'll sweep all the way around and come all the way to the other side. Right hand reaches up and overhead, side body stretch over to your left. So gaze is up, chest is open here at first. And on the exhale, round through the back, elbow to knee. Inhale, open through the chest, take it back up. And exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, open back up through the chest, reach overhead. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, open back up, reach the arm up over, over the head here. Nice side body stretch, gaze goes up. Three big breaths. Root through both sit bones. One more breath here. And on the exhale, we'll sweep that right hand down around. We walk and stop in the center. Walk those hands out in front. Maybe that third eye center comes down to rest. Relax through those shoulders here. And maybe if that third eye doesn't reach all the way down to the mat, maybe you bring a pillow or a block there to rest that forehead down on. Should begin to feel a nice little opening through the hips here as well. And then as you're ready, we'll walk those hands back up towards the body. Extending the legs straight out in front now. So we're gonna come into a seated staff pose. So find those sits bones, nice tall spine again. On the inhale, reach those fingertips straight up and on the exhale, begin a fold forward to a seated forward bend. So you can always put a bend into the knees here. We're reaching the crown of the head down towards the toes, big stretch for the back of the legs, the hamstrings, and a nice release through that lower back here as well. And three more breaths. On your next inhale, slowly begin to walk those hands back up. Opening those legs up now, we'll come into a straddle pose. So maybe make those adjustments to tilt that pelvis forward. Maybe sitting on a blanket here. On the inhale, we reach those arms back up. On the exhale, take it over to the right side. So again, chest is lifting here. Feet are flexed and toes are pointed to the sky. So don't worry about how close you are to the leg. It's more about that side body stretch here. Three more breaths. And 
and on that next inhale we come back through center reach it up tall and exhale take your stretch over to the left so again chest is lifting gaze is up feet are flexed toes pointing to the sky Check in with the breath here. Make sure it's still nice and steady. And three more. And on that next inhale, we come back through center, reach it tall. On the exhale, fold forward. So again, fingertips walk out in front. Maybe you come down to the forearms here. Maybe you're open enough that the whole upper body comes down. Just go wherever you need to go. Big stretch for the inner thighs. Again, those feet are flexed, toes are pointed up. Breathe in, breathe out. And two more, breathe in and breathe out. Last one here, breathe in and breathe out. One more breath in and we'll slowly begin to walk the fingertips back up towards the body. Bring the soles of the feet together now. Allow those knees to fall open, coming into a butterfly pose. So we'll find length. Inhale, you can stay here, or you can begin a fold forward, hinging from the hips forward, crown of the head reaching down towards the ankles. And as you're here, you may take those thumbs and fingers and Massage through the soles of the feet here, if that feels good. Maybe hit those five lines of the feet. And two more breaths. On that next inhale, we'll slowly make our way back up. Bring the hands to the outsides of the knees now. Bring them up and together. So we'll take the hands next to our bottom either side and just take some windshield wipers here. As many as you need to. Just release through the hips, through the legs. Maybe take one more each direction here. And then as you're ready, we'll cross at those ankles and make our way over to a tabletop pose, hands and knees. So the wrists will come right below the shoulders, knees come below the hips. Bring the navel into the spine. Take a nice big inhale here for length. And on the exhale, round through the spine, tuck through the bottom, tuck through the chin, coming in to that cat pose. Inhale, belly sways down, crown of the head lifts, coming into cow. On the exhale, round. And inhale, sway. Sorry if you hear my dogs barking in the background, guys. On the exhale, round. And inhale, sway. Exhale, round. So you're welcome to take these on your own breath back and forth, spending as much time in each pose as you need. Finding movement through the spine here. We'll take one more each direction. OK, 
Coming back to that neutral spine, take the gaze over the right hip towards, take the gaze over the right shoulder towards the right hip. I'll get it right here in a second. Come through center and take the gaze over the left. Back through center, take it right. Back through center, take it left. So check in with that belly here. Make sure it's up and in. Engaged, secure. On your own breath, back and forth. So we're spending again as much time as you need on each side. One more each direction here. Coming back through center, we'll tuck those toes under and slowly begin that peel up to a downward facing dog. So pedal through this dog nice and slow. So again, we're getting those pops out, those creaks out. To see how everything feels here. We'll come into a stillness now, downward dog, sits bones lift, heels reach down, chest reaches back. One big breath here. On your inhale, come back up to tippy toes and let's drop those knees back down, coming back into that table pose. We'll walk those hands out in front, come down onto the forearms, then we'll walk the knees back so the hips stay right over the knees just like they were in table and we'll slowly begin to lower the chest down coming in to that puppy dog pose so begin to feel a nice opening through the chest and a nice stretch through the shoulders here We'll spend three more breaths here. And one more. We'll shift forward onto the forearms and allow that belly to drop down, making our way in to a Sphinx pose from here. So elbows are right below the shoulders. Release through the glutes. Release through those legs. Shoulders are rolling down away from the ears. Little back bend here. Taking a nice big inhale. On the exhale, we'll slowly begin to bend through that right knee and bring it out to the right. So we're in a half frog leg here. So it's like a half frog leg and a sphinx upper body. So again, you begin to feel this through the hip. And now here's where I'm changing it up just a little bit. We'll pivot on that left elbow and thread the left arm under and slowly begin to open the chest, roll on to that side body, coming in to a reclined twist. Breathing here. So arms can stay at a T or if you wish, you can take them to goalpost arms. Up to you. So maybe a block under that right knee if you need it. Spending three more breaths. And 
Okay, and one more. Slowly begin to roll back over to your left. Coming back over onto the belly. We'll come back in to that sphinx with that half frog leg. One more breath here. And on the exhale, we'll bring that right leg back down to meet the left, coming into that full sphinx. Breathing here again, release through the glutes, the lower body, relax through the shoulders. Taking one more big inhale here. Left leg will come out to the left now to that half frog leg. So again, begin to feel that stretch through the hip. Feel the back bend here as well. One more breath in. So we'll begin now to pivot on that right elbow, thread the right arm under, and roll all the way over onto the back, coming in to that recline twist. So again, maybe the knee doesn't come all the way down to the mat. Maybe you place a block there. Arms to a T or goal post arms. It's up to you. We have three more breaths here. And one more breath in. On the exhale, begin to roll back over onto that right side. Come all the way back around. Sphinx pose, half frog leg. One more breath. And slowly bring that left leg now back next to the right. Sphinx pose, three breaths here. And one more. On the exhale, slowly begin to lower that upper body down. Bring those hands under the shoulders. Tuck those toes under. Keep those knees down. We're going to come up through table. And now we'll bring those big toes together. Knees open, mats width. Left palm to the center of the mat. Right fingertips peel to the sky. A twist here. On the exhale, replace right palm down. Inhale, left fingertips peel to the sky. Exhale, bring that left palm down. We'll sink those hips back against the heels now. Walk those fingertips out in front and come into that child's pose. So hips resting against the heels, fingertips reaching out towards the edge of the mat. Taking this child's pose is that counter pose to Sphinx to that back bend. One more breath here. On the exhale, walk those fingertips over towards the right side of your mat. Sink down through the left hip. Inhale. 
inhale, walk back through center. And on the exhale, walk the fingertips over to the left. Sink down through the right hip. Inhale, come back through center. One more breath here in child. On that next inhale, we'll make our way up to that table pose, back to those hands and knees. On that next inhale, step that right foot straight back. Press into the ball of the foot here. Big stretch. And now we'll bring the knee in towards the nose. Place the foot between the hands, coming in to a runner's lunge. Modified. So chest is lifting here. On the exhale, sink the hips back straight and through the right leg and fold over. Crown of the head reaching down towards the toes. Right hip is shifting back. Left hip is shifting forward. Bend comes back into that right knee. We'll toe heel that right foot over to the left side of the mat, sink the hips down, and come into a half pigeon pose. So inhale, find length, and exhale, fold forward. So again, come into whatever pigeon you need. You can also take this as reclined if you prefer. We're sending breath into the hip. Shifting the weight of those hips in towards the midline to take it a little bit deeper, a little bigger stretch. Releasing out all of that junk that we store up in the hip joint. Three more breaths. So maybe sigh out the exhale to help release out. Check in with the upper body, relax it all out. One more breath here. On the exhale, we slowly begin to press into the palms, bring that upper body up, tuck those back toes, and we'll take that right knee back to meet the left, maybe take some hip circles here if you need to. And then as you're ready, coming back into that table pose. Stepping that left foot straight back, press into the ball of the foot, so get a nice stretch through the calf here. Remember to keep that belly in. And then as you're ready, shift the weight into the palms. Bring the knee in towards the chest. Place the foot between the hands. Coming into that modified runner's lunge. Knee is down, chest is lifting. So we have knee over ankle here as well for alignment. One more breath in. On the exhale, sink the hips back, straighten through the left leg now, and fold over for that modified pyramid or half split pose. Left hip back, right hip forward, crown of the head reaching down towards the toes. Foot can be pointed or flexed, it's up to you.
One more breath in. On the exhale, put the bend into that left knee. And now we'll toe heel that left foot over to the right side of the mat, sinking the hips down, coming into that half pigeon. So inhale, we find length. Exhale, you can fold it forward or again, take this as reclined. So taking into account each side is different. So honor your body however you need to here. So again, the breath is into the hip, relax through that upper body, check in, shoulders, jaw, maybe check in with the hands, make sure you're not clenching fists here. And shifting the weight to the midline if you can, just to take it a little bit deeper. We'll take this three more breaths here. And then as you're ready, we'll gently press back into the palms, tuck the back toes under, begin to bend that back knee. Take that left leg back to meet the right, coming back into table, and maybe some hip circles here if you need it. We'll come back to table pose. Take a cat and cow here. Come back to table and now we'll sink those hips back against the heels. Find a side saddle here. Bring those legs back around front. We'll take them back out straight. Bend through that right knee, let it fall open. Inhale, reach back tall and exhale, fold forward, head to knee. Inhale, slowly walk it up and switch it out. Straighten through the right, bend through the left, let the knee fall open. Inhale, reach tall, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, slowly walk it up. We'll bring both knees in towards the chest. Bring those arms straight out in front and slowly roll it down. Bring those knees into the chest one by one here. Maybe give it a gentle rock side to side. Making your way to your joyful or happy baby here. So keep a bend in the knees. Take the soles of the feet up towards the sky. Reach for the inside or outside of the feet. And maybe that gentle rock again side to side. Spending a few breaths with those legs above the heart. Just reversing out our day. Or again, anything that's not serving you in this moment. Three more breaths. So if you want to change it up here, if you want to come into a bridge pose or maybe a supported bridge pose, you can do that here or stay right where you are. And 
one more big breath. We'll slowly bring those knees back into the chest. We'll bring that third eye up to kiss the knees, rounding through the spine. And on your exhale, releasing out, making your way into your Shavasana, wherever that is for you tonight. Maybe it's that corpse pose. Maybe it's a line release. Maybe it's a reclined butterfly. Wherever you choose to go, allow the body to melt. Allow natural breath to take over here. And just relax and be. Slowly begin to bring awareness back into your bodies. Wiggle fingers and toes. Small ankle circles and wrist circles. Begin to slowly rock your head from side to side. On your next inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Take a nice long body stretch. And if you wish, you can take the hands and the feet both over to the right corners of your mat, coming into that banana pose. Inhale, walk back through center, reach tall and maybe the hands and feet over to the left corners of the mat, finding that banana pose, left side. Inhale, come back through center. One more big, long body stretch here. Bringing those knees one by one back into the chest and make your way over to one side or the other, pausing in that fetal pose for two breaths, maybe three. Using your top hand as support now, slowly make your way up to an easy seat. So we'll keep those eyes closed down, root down through the sits bones, and on the inhale, sweep the arms out, around, and up. Allow those fingertips to kiss. And on the exhale, bring the thumbs in to heart center. Thank you for joining me this evening for this gentle, relaxing practice. We'll close our practice with three cleansing breaths together, inhaling here. And one more. Bringing our thumbs to third eye center. The light in me honors the light in each one of you. 
Soka, Samasta, Sukinu, Bhavantu, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. Thanks, guys. Have a great evening. See you next time.